Hi, welcome back to another Crypto Day video. So today I'm going to talk about how to stake using Bean Cash. And just to clarify something very quickly at the beginning, Bean Cash uh, used to be called Bitbean. This is why when we're on the website here, their official website is bitbean.org. Still, it rebranded um, a little while ago, but a lot of uh, people still talk about it as Bitbean. So if you you hear people talk about Bitbean, it is the same as Bean Cash. Bean Cash is just the rebranded uh, version. But anyway, uh, I did an update video last week, I think it was, where I talked about my staking coins, different staking coins. And somebody asked me about Bean Cash. They said, "Why wasn't I uh, staking with it? Um, was it something I was um, interested in, or something that I'd used?" And it is a coin that I've been meaning to get involved in for a while. And I thought, well, it's probably a good opportunity to buy some and start staking. So a few days ago, I bought a thousand pounds worth of Bean Cash uh, through Bittrex, and I set up the wallet, downloaded the wallet, synced everything, and set it up uh, staking. So a few days ago. So I just want to run you through that process. So if you're interested in the coin, this is our official website. There's lots of information here about the kind of coin. They just a couple of things to talk about initially. They call their proof of stake proof of bean. Um, they call it sprouting instead of staking, but they're exactly the same thing. It's a it's a nice friendly kind of community. It reminds me a little bit of the Dogecoin one. It's a little bit kind of tongue in cheek. They don't take themselves that seriously. But it has been around for about three years or so. Um, and it is, you know, a pretty decent project I think so um, it's not a fly by night it's not something that's popped up last week offering like you know 10,000 percent staking and then will disappear next week with your coins worth nothing so it's um it's a decent project um, I'm not advising necessarily you to get involved with it it's not financial advice by any stretch of the imagination I'm just talking about my experiences so before you uh, get involved the probably a useful site for you to jump over to is called sproutingcalculator.com and this basically will give you an overview of how much you are likely to sprout using the amount of coins you're um, <coughs> you're going to buy. So I bought a thousand pounds worth, which was a hundred twenty-seven thousand two hundred ninety-two coins. And if we click calculate, you'll see that I'm expected to earn five thousand and ninety-one, just over five thousand ninety-one. Uh, bean cash a month through staking or sprouting. Um, now, something to be aware of, the stakes come in in 1000 bean blocks. So you'll never get more or you'll never get, you know, an exact amount like this. You'll never get the 91. You'll get 5000 or 6000 or, you know, 4000 or whatever. So always each stake comes in in a thousand bean blocks. So that's something to be uh, aware of. The other thing to be aware of, if we scroll to the bottom, you can see there's some um, examples here. So in order to earn $50 a month from sprouting uh, 4307 and again, it wouldn't be that exact amount, it would be 4000 or 5000 but you would require uh, just over 100,000 beans, so 107,000. To get $100 a month at current rates, it would be 215000 So this gives you an idea of the amount that you would have to kind of buy in order to make a certain amount a month. So a thousand and seven hundred and seven thousand six hundred and seventy five beans would cost you twelve hundred and fifty dollars and that would make you approximately fifty dollars a month so this gives you a general idea of the kind of rewards you will be getting through uh, staking bean cash anyway first thing you need to do if you're interested is jump to the main site and go to downloads i installed on windows on my desktop machine so i grab this version here the uh, Bean Cash Core wallet, which is a 64-bit uh, Windows wallet. This is the latest one. There are some uh, older ones that aren't uh, active anymore. And then there's some versions for uh, different platforms. So there's a Linux version, there's a Mac, and a, there's a Lite wallet uh, for Android. Now, you can't stake on this particular one. So first thing to do is download. So you download um, the wallet for your particular system, double-click it, uh, allow it to open up. Then what I would personally recommend is then closing it down and grabbing a relatively recent blockchain. So if you go to this downloads page, if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see this section here, synchronize your wallet with the Bean Cash blockchain faster. And basically there's a zip file here, which you can download. So run your wallet and it will create all the kind of um, the data folders. Then you can close it down, download this file, unzip it into your data folder for Bean Cash and it will basically download oh, that that will be a download of the blockchain up until probably a week or two ago the other option you have is going to this site which is called crypto chainer and there's uh, again instructions here for all the blockchains but this has up to date or relatively up to date blockchains for the vast majority of popular coins out there there is one for 
uh, Bitbean, which is obviously now called Beancash. Uh, there is one here, but there's ones for lots of different uh, coins. Um, so if you were going to grab, for example, Bitcoin, look, that's over 180 gigabytes. So it's too large to host now. But if you're going to grab one of these kind of coins, um, if it's got a large blockchain, it's always um, a good idea to actually grab one of these, um, put it into your kind of um, your uh, blockchain folder, your application data folder for that particular coin. And then when you start syncing, it will just start the last, it will just have to sync the last week or two rather than several years worth of uh, data. So that's always a quick way to uh, go. You can grab this one here, which I'd probably recommend because it comes from their official site. But for other coins, this crypto chain is a really good site. I've used it a lot in the past. Um, the other thing you need to do, so you'll download your wallet. You'll do that if you're going to um, grab the data, dump that into the folder, restart it up, and it will sync the last few, uh, a week's work. If not, you can just download the wallet and let it uh, sync. It will take probably a day or so for this particular coin, but you can do that. And once you're up to, to date, what you need to do is get some coins to move over to it. So if we jump over to here to CoinMarketCap, we're on Beancash as you can see. You can see here there's a market cap of just under $28 million at the moment and a volume $5.7 million, 24 hour volume. So it's a decent volume. And if we jump to markets, you can see basically these are all the exchanges where you can buy it. I bought mine on Bittrex because it's a site I use quite a bit. Um, but you can see that the top two, Upbit and Bittrex, all have decent volume. And then there's tiny, tiny amounts on some of these other smaller exchanges. But Buy your coins from wherever you want, and then what you will need to do is uh, move them over or export them into your wallet. So let's jump over to the desktop, and you can see here, this is my Beancash wallet. So um, I've allowed it to sync, and I actually copied the, uh, moved the coins into it. But the first thing you'll need to do, so once your wallet is synced, there's two things you should do with any wallet. The first thing you need to do is encrypt it. So go to settings and click encrypt, and it will prompt you to put a password in twice. Uh, you'll do that and then it will shut down the wallet. You need to reopen it up. And then what you always should do is back up your wallet file. So you go to file and backup keys and it will open up basically a dialog box like this and you can call it whatever you want. So being cash wallet, for example, I backed it up here. Click save. We can replace that. And then that will be a backup of your wallet if anything ever happens to this computer. And obviously you should take that and store it somewhere safe. So put it on maybe a couple of different USB uh, sticks and put them somewhere. Now always back up your wallet after you've encrypted it. So you've got an encrypted version of your uh, wallet file. Now the next thing you need to do is uh, receive the coin. So if you just go to receive beans, you can copy this address and then you can go to Bittrex or wherever you bought your coins send them to that address and they will appear pretty quickly within your transaction list. And then in order to stake the remaining thing, all we need to do is unlock the wallet for staking. Because we've encrypted our wallet, we need to unlock it for staking. So you go to settings. I'll just lock it quickly so I'll show you how to unlock it. So we'll just lock that. You will see your wallet here will have a little padlock icon. So the wallet is encrypted and currently locked. And just go to settings, unlock wallet, unlock vault rather, and then we just put in the password we set up. Make sure this is che uh, checked. This is for sprouting only or staking only, whatever you want to call it. And then we'll click OK. And what will happen is this little padlock will go from locked to unlocked. So you can see here currently unlocked. And then this little icon will pop up uh, to say that you are sprouting. And it will give you your wait and an expected time to earn rewards, which for us is five days. So. Um, that probably fits in quite nicely with the calculator. The calculator was saying we would probably get five uh, stakes a month, so every five days that seems about right. So as you can see, I only set this up on the 9th. I haven't received my first stake or sprout yet, but hopefully that should come in in the next uh, few days. But that's all you need to do uh, for setting up uh, Beam Cash, as I said, Beam Cash or Bitbeam, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's a nice, simple wallet. It's got a good community. If you do come Across any kind of problems, feel free to put a comment uh, below this video if you've got any kind of questions. Um, but they've got a really active uh, Reddit and a good, um, I think it was a Discord or Telegram group um, that has some, you know, really good people kind of helping others out. So anyway, um, if you're interested, go and have a look at the sprouting calculator, work out whether it's a coin you're interested in, and then just jump through those very simple steps in order to get staking. But uh, anyway, I hope that was uh, helpful for those who have asked me about Beancash. I will obviously be going through the results from this in my staking update videos 
and my end of month um, mining slash staking update video. So I'll run you through what kind of rewards um, you can expect once I've actually got a little bit of data in over the next few weeks. But uh, anyway, that's it for today. Uh, give me a thumbs up. That would be great. And consider subscribing if you haven't. Um, I will be back in a couple of days with the next video. Hopefully I will see you then. Have a great day. Bye bye.